Hey guys, welcome back to the Snapper and Chronicles. Today we're back at you with another ratchet video. And today we have this East Co ratchet. It's the 721412 ratchet, which is a flex head. Uh, but before we jump into it, if you find my videos enjoyable or helpful in any way, could you give me a like and also subscribe to this channel? It takes you just a second to hit the button and uh, it's free. So, you know, help me out. So, okay. So we have this East Co Ratchet. And it's a version of the Roundhead Fine Tooth Ratchet minus the Quick Release. East Co as we know uh made the round head fine tooth for for a few companies but uh most notably craftsman the craftsman round round head flat uh fine tooth it's uh pretty much uh, kind of iconic in the in the craftsman line here's here's the the craftsman round head fine tooth a version of it uh, there were I think a couple of versions of it I'm gonna get into this in another video uh, where I compare the different versions of the round head fine tooth later on but here's one and you can see this I think this is the later on one where the quick release doesn't have a rising plunger as opposed to this one which you see the quick release does have a different sort of uh, quick release there with a rising plunger uh, it gets into a lot of different things because um, as we know Craftsman or Sears had the patent for the quick release and they got into litigation with the guy who invented it and and uh, then they had to change it later on or something like that so it's, it's kind of involved but Today we have this this one here, which is the East Co. Their own version of the Roundhead Roundhead Fine Tooth, and theirs in the beginning didn't have a quick release because, like I said, uh, Sears had the patent on it, and usually patents run, I think, fifteen or twenty-five years, something like that. So they have that whole however many years of uh, they were the solo, you know, holders of that patent. And here's the regular non-flex version of this ratchet or of the East Co. Roundhead Fine Tooth. And, but eventually later on they did have... A version with the quick release also I guess when the patent ran out they were able to use what they were making already you know for craftsmen they were able to I guess make it for themselves in their version of their own ratchet so eventually they did get to use the quick release for this ratchet just uh, some interesting things about this this non quick release ratchet is that you can hear it shakes is a rattle you see because the switch the switch is uh, kind of loose and the same thing for this one switches are kind of loose in there and that has something to do with the quick release because the quick release they had added tension to the switch so it kept them from rattling as much but that's just one one interesting aspect of the whole quick release uh issue and again this they're both three eighths but this one has a much beefier handle they're knurled they're both knurled and you can see that this one's a lot thicker than the regular size uh, ratchet I guess uh, 
for the added torque because this is 11 inches and this is about 8 inches so I guess they they beefed up the, the handle there for that purpose and I think I mentioned this is a 721412 forged alloy USA and this is a little bit harder to take down than its brother because as we see here with the non-flex it's, it's pretty it's open there so you can stick something in with uh, a little bit easier here you have like a little cutout this flex head version has a little cutout so it's a little bit a little bit more challenging to uh, open this up but let's give it a try and see if we don't have to spend that much time see if it cooperates oh almost had it okay there we go here's your ring that holds the mechanism in and here's the switch cap it's made of metal it has the cutouts in it for the protrusions here the posts the pins for the poles and whatnot and we take a look inside this was pretty good this is done nicely the broaching here is overall very good as we see here you see the teeth are pretty nice there's only a hint of a little bit I don't know if you, hold on let me grab a pick real quick there's only like a hint of uh, these ragged tooth ends not as bad as the the half inch version that I showed uh, a while back of this run of uh, of ratchets that one was they had a good solid row of ragged teeth here I only see maybe maybe a little bit here a little bit there one but pretty on the whole is pretty pretty good job of broaching in this pretty nice and this is a flex so there's a ball and a spring under here and this is there's no uh, I can't take this out I can but I don't want to ruin it uh, so there's no way of uh, this isn't made to be taken apart they just uh, put the pins in permanent pins and this has three positions three cutouts one two and three and then you freewheeling after that position you freewheel all the way to the back but those three positions you have and you got the ball and the spring underneath and I guess that's about it for this part here okay the switch like I said has the cutouts for the pins of the pole and the switch here has a little has a little main switch where in the switch you have um, the spring that goes all the way across it's uh the pin uh, the switch is bored straight through so there's a hole that goes all the way through and there's a ball on each end and a spring in the middle so to get this apart and 
There are different versions of this plus the quick release. No, there's this version and then there's different versions of the quick release. And to take them apart, it's a little bit different for each. But let's, uh, what I do is I just take, I take one of the pins out. Hold down, hold down the, the, the paw because you have, and there's the ball goes flying. God. <laughs> oh boy. Let me see if I see it. Yep. I lucked out. It fell right at my feet. So, there's the ball. You can see it here. It's the tiny. The tiny, so. Be very careful when you uh, take them out, take out the paw, and here the paw comes out. This is what the paw looks like. Some grease in here, and the paws they have like a little, a little hump in between them on the bottom there. And there are three teeth per side, and there are two paws. So, I guess you got six. Let me get a napkin. Oh, God. I'll put these parts on a napkin. Okay, so now you take, there's a spring, that's the spring I was talking about that goes in between. And there's your spring. And then here we just take out this paw pin. Take out the other paw, and then the ball should be there. Be careful, it might fall out. And there's the ball. There's some lube in there, so it's uh, it's staying put. But there, there's the ball. And here's the switch. You can see the switch, it has the hole I was saying, it goes straight through. And on the quick release, you're gonna have a spring down there and some, and a ball and a spring and like I said, there are different configurations of the switch, so it's a little bit different for both. Uh, here's the housing. Uh, nice, well done. Everything looks pretty good. Looks like it was uh, well forged there. There's the ball detent. Looks nice also, well, well centered and peened. And, okay, so we have all our parts here. Uh, this video is gonna run long <laughs> because this is a pain to put back together. Okay, so we take our paws, we put them Put our paws in place, take our pins, drop that one pin in here, okay, so you're going to put the ball back in the hole. 
like this and then you're going to take it and put the ball against the paw that you just put in like that and make sure that this square switch is facing out and the round portion of the switch is facing in like this okay now what you do is you take your spring and you drop it you drop that in the hole like that and you take your ball and this is the hard part this is going to take me probably a while so if it takes too long I'm just going to cut away and then come back but you're going to have to balance this tiny little ball on top of that spring okay you have your ball balanced on the spring like that you take your paw and you carefully place it on top of the spring but not to knock the ball off you want to keep it on and press the ball down on the spring like that and then you take your pin, you put that in, and hopefully everything went well, and this switches. Yeah, it's switching. Like that. Okay, now what you do is you take your switch you drop it in in the hole there and now you take your mechanism and you try to orient the switch with the switch plate you see it's kinda going this way the square the rectangle I mean and you wanna kinda get it to where it's going in the same direction like that and you drop that in you might have to press the paws in to get that in okay now you take your take your switch I mean your your ring you might have to get it back in now this is the fun part again now you're going to have to get this ring around that trench under that lip and then at the same time you're going to have to squeeze squeeze this uh, ring together and this might take a while so if if this is taking too long I'm just gonna cut away and come back when it's finished and I can't believe I did it <laughs> that that quickly Okay, now you just test it out. Let me clear all this stuff out of here. You just test out your ratchet 
Let's see if it's switching. Yep, it's switching. So uh, that's the teardown of this East Co. Uh, roundhead fine tooth ratchet. A little bit complicated. A little bit, a little bit hard. I I gotta admit. Uh, what I can say is uh, go try this at your own risk because with that mechanism where you have to balance the ball on the spring I think there's another way you can do it but that's the way I do it that's the way I thought was more simple and this ring where it has this little cutout here to, uh, to get it to close it's kind of a, a this is kind of a pain in, in the butt to uh, take apart but there you go you saw what was in it and it's uh, pretty good it's it's good quality uh, a good quality ratchet okay guys until next time